Welcome everyone to my presentation on our paper titled HEMI++, a genetic algorithm-based clustering technique for sensible clusters. The co-authors of this paper are Dr. Abul Hashem Beg, Professor Vladimir Estigil Castro, and my name is Zahid Islam. So what is clustering? As we know that if we have a two-dimensional table or data set like this, where the variables are X and Y, and records are like the first record is 72 and 11, we could plot these uh, records on a two-dimensional graph uh, by representing every dot as a record. Then a clustering technique actually finds the groups of records, whether uh, where, uh, the records within a group are close to each other and records uh, belonging to different groups are far apart. So this is clustering. And there are many existing clustering techniques. Uh, some of them can be classified as hard clustering. Some of them are fuzzy clustering, but they generally have some uh, limitations or challenges such as they require some user input uh, for example, some clustering technique like k-means could require the number of clusters as an input from a user, um, which can be difficult for a user to assume um, in advance, uh, etc. And also sometimes these techniques can get stuck at a local optima. To avoid these problems, uh, genetic algorithms are generally uh, useful, uh, can be found useful, because they often are parameterless, they don't require user input, and they try to find global optima. Uh, at the very least, they try to find better local optima. Now, the genetic algorithms can also be improved by, uh, for example, uh, identifying a very good quality initial population and also uh, better crossover operation, et cetera. Now, what is a genetic algorithm? Um, as we can see that if we represent a data set into cluster like this, then we can find the cluster centers and each cluster center is a record and that can be uh, identified or that can be presented as a gene. And so there are three cluster centers here in this clustering solution. Then there are three genes and these three genes together can be considered as a uh, chromosome. Now, in a genetic algorithm, we have initial population where we have a number of chromosomes. These are number of uh, sometimes random solutions of clusters. Each chromosome is a solution. And then there are operations like crossover operations. Then there are operations like mutation operations. Uh, and finally, there are operation, there is an operation called elitist operation, which tries to find out the better quality um, chromosome from each uh, population. And these operations are repeated a number of times, they call it generation. And many number of, after many number of generations, generally we may end up having a good quality clustering results. Now in 2014, we proposed a technique called GenClust, which actually tried this to find out a better quality initial population and also it had few other, uh, few other approaches like uh, using k-means and genetic algorithm together to find better quality clustering results. And then in 2017, we proposed an ad improved version of GenClust calling, uh, called GenClust++, where we also tried to use some sort of cloning, health check, et cetera, to improve the clustering result further. And one improvement we made in Gen++ was that uh, the improvement in complexity, it, uh, it finds a uh, good quality initial clustering or initial population like Gen++, but at a linear um, complexity. Um, so it uses k-means and short version versions of k-means, et cetera, in it. Um, this technique is also, um, the software for this technique is publicly available. in Weka, um, you can freely download the software 
and use it. So if you look for uh, Zahid's data mining channel, uh, that's my data mining channel on YouTube, you will find my data mining channel there and there are lots of videos. And uh, one of the videos is on how to download this software in Weka and use it for clustering, for knowledge discovery, etc. Feel free to watch that if you like. Okay, then after that, in, uh, uh, we published another paper in uh, knowledge-based systems called uh, EMI, where we used actually multiple streams and uh, streams of chromosomes. So we realized that if we increase the population size, that's the number of chromosomes in a population, generally we should get better results. And there, are, there is evidence of that in the literature. But then we also experimented in this paper that if we divide the chromosomes into multiple streams, uh, and uh, let's say we have altogether 80 chromosomes, and then we divide them uh, into um, streams of 20 chromosomes, so that will uh, build, that will uh, end up result in four, four streams. And then if the streams, um, operate independently and after few iterations they share information they share their best chromosomes at that iter at that iteration uh, then this way we possibly can get even better results and that was our technique uh, this one hemi and we saw that that clearly uh, um, uh, indicates our experimental results clearly indicates that this uh, approach is possibly very useful. We get better results there. So based on these findings in this paper, this is the HEMI++ paper, we also use multiple streaming, uh, multiple streams of uh, genetic operation, genetic algorithm. So for example, on the left side, you can see one stream where you have a number of chromosomes, say let's say 20 chromosomes, and this, this stream, chromosomes uh, within these streams go for crossover operation, mutation operation, etc. And similarly, the right side stream also um, goes through crossover, mutation, elitist operation, etc. And we can have a number of streams, four, six, eight, or whatever number of streams. And then after some uh, iterations, after some generations, there will be uh, a information sharing operation so that uh, in that um, at that stage the streams can share the best chromosomes uh, that they have at that moment so this is one uh, uh, one approach for hemi plus plus the other approach for hemi plus plus is cleansing operation so what it does from the initial population uh, like Gen++ and HEMI, it uses k-means and also some random approach to create uh, a huge number of chromosomes at the initial population uh, for, uh, for the selection of chromosomes for the initial population. It creates a huge number of chromosomes. And from those chromosomes, uh, it knows the celluloid coefficient or DB index of those chromosomes, and it knows which chromosomes are good quality. And from those good quality chromosomes, it can actually learn the sensible clusters properties. For example, the minimum number of cluster, maximum number of cluster, minimum number, number of record in a cluster, et cetera, for good quality clustering solutions. This knowledge can then be used to identify bad chromosomes in a population and remove those bad chromosomes that are not sensible, the number of clusters not making sense, et cetera. And then those bad chromosomes can be uh, replaced by cloning of good chromosomes, drawing from the initial population, and then they can be mutated a little bit. So this approach gives actually a very good result. This HEMI++, you can see we have compared with many other techniques and it gives quite good results. Thanks for watching.